So I just, um, I, w- I was just now texting a friend. Um, I'll admit, um, she's gay. She's a lesbian. Um, and we were, I was talking to her about, you know, relationship, my relationship troubles and not being able to find the right one for such a long time. And uh, she... I was trying to tell her that a lot of the girls in college or just like the girls in in high school, you know, they're clueless. They have no idea what they want. They're not giving the deserving guys a realistic chance. And she told me that, you know, I have to finish school first. I have to get 100% first. And before I get into a relationship. And the thing is, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. I can agree that, um, yeah, I'm not perfect. I'm not at my max that I want to be. I'm almost there. And yes, you know, I'm almost done with school. Um, I, I just, ha- you know, I have a, you know, s- you know, making a simple, a good amount of money. I could make more, but, you know, I'm, after I finish school, I can, I can probably triple that, you know, you know, get a full-time job, and I know, I I was thinking about working at a, at Ops or FedEx, I know in the holiday season, it's going to be mad crazy, and I really want to get in on that money, and so, like I was saying, um, I do, understand where she's coming from but i'm just kind of like i'm not trying to rush everything all at once you know that, that's kind of like the thing i'm in a decent spot to where i can't I, I can be a little bit more nimble you know i could do simple things like dates or just kind of simple talking you know i'm not going to kind of rush it and just kind of do like a you know rush to the uh, the phases of you know to you know, relationship to where we're having unprotected sex and stuff like that. I'm not rushing it or putting myself in danger like that. Um, but, you know, but the thing is, is that I have enough control over myself to where I feel like I am comfortable at at least getting to know people. Because I don't want to get, be ready for a relationship and then be like, I'm rushing to do it because I'm 25 and, you know, I've completed everything that I need to complete. And the thing is, I noticed before, like I said before, is that I noticed that I have a weakness. I don't have a lot of personal connections. I don't have a lot of bonds that, you know, most girls can connect with with me. And so I'm, I'm just trying to work on that work on having, you know, bonds, communication, you know, communicating more and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm just trying to text her and tell her that, you know, I may not be ready for a relationship, but something as simple as talking I can do. You know, I can do, you know, talking. That's pretty much simple. You know, casual dates, you know, go to the movies every now and then. I can do that. You know, I I just kind of hate it when women kind of pull that. When you get to 100%, you're going to be getting all the love and attention and accolades. And it's not true. It's not always true. It doesn't, you know, just because you're in a good spot, you know, it doesn't mean that females are going to be running to you trying to get with you, you know. You know, that's not always the case. And, you know, that's what I'm just kind of trying to say to her because females aren't watching well-to-do men like that. And so, like I said before, you know, one of my fears is like, okay, not being married, not having kids, you know, at a late age. And, you know, I have a legitimate reason kind of to worry about. It's not like I have a, you know, I'm rushing. I'm not really rushing. I'm not, I really don't plan on being married until I'm, 25 or late 20s and you know having my kids probably when I'm 30 or something so I'm I'm not I'm not really in a rush 
for all that stuff right now, but I'm just kind of, I'm just saying that, you know, you know, I, you know, I'm just saying that, you know, females aren't really watching brothers' financial progress like that, and then, you know, you know, other guys like me, it can kind of, you know, make dudes like me jealous of other dudes because, you know, I do see broke dudes getting into relationships, and, you know, they're, you know, they claim to be doing well, but then it just kind of makes you angry on why the hell does Raheem have a relationship with a girl that I like, and he doesn't have a job, he's, he's not trying to do anything positive with himself, but girls are telling me that I have to be um, at 100% before I get into anything serious with them. And yes, you are correct. I do need to be 100%. But the thing is that, you know, nothing's wrong with simple talking. You know? Just bonding, creating bonds to where it's like we can see if we're compatible. Because I, I just don't want to be old and just, be, you know, rushing, you know, and trying to, like, uh, force things or push things because I'm ready for a relationship. That's... That's what I mean, and you know, sometimes, it, most, not even sometimes, most of the time, or all the time, really, I do get mad and fed up when I see non-deserving men in relationships. And so the thing is, is that females need to control themselves and stop giving the pussy to dudes who are not deserving. You know, stop being in relationships with broke men who have no inspiration. You know. But it's just getting late. But I really wish females would just wake up and just see what's going on. Because there's a reason why black men aren't motivated to do anything. Because it's so easy to sleep with you. All I have to do is sag my pants and be the archetype black male. To where either I'm selling drugs or playing sports. And I got you. And since I don't fit that mold, I have to try extra hard just for the littlest things. You know, I can be patient, I can do whatever, but, you know, I'm not rushing to be sexually active or anything, but I'm just making a point that, you know, females are giving it up to the wrong type of dude. And, you know, that needs to stop. And that's why you have a lot of brothers who are walking around angry and because they're like, I have to be at 100% just to get a decent chance. Yet they don't have to come to the, um, they, they, it's like they don't even have to come correct. It's like kind of going to a job interview and, you know, you're, you got all your credentials up. You, you, you know, you got your resume, you, you, you've been practicing and rehearsing for a long time and then you know you see a brother or somebody right, right next to you and pants sagging they didn't even try to art they don't articulate themselves they're not very bright and that person gets the job and you don't that's how it feels that's how that's how it feels because it feels like what's the point of me trying to better the black community what's the point of me um, doing better for myself when, you know, I, I'll, I'll be bored. I'll be lonely. I'll, you know, it's, it's little shit like that, that, that can affect a lot of men. And this is why, you know, like I said before, it's why we're, we, don't, we have a low amount of men who want to be productive because if they were like me or they were like other black men who are about something, they're not going to get a lot of love. And if they do, it's like last minute. You know, maybe when they're like in their 30s or, you know, you know, they, they don't get all that. They don't have those fun years. They don't have those memories of going to the rave or partying hard or anything like that. You know, they have to remember studying hard or, you know, doing, you know, or, uh, you know, being exiled or distanced from everybody. But, you know, that's all I got to say.